in a series that dates back to a 1912 meeting here in Columbus. Ohio State leads it 24-14. Buckeyes have won six in a row, but none of them by more than 13 points. The biggest game of the season right here, right now, from Columbus, and we're underway. Jaden Fielding sends it away. Nick Singleton is the deep man. Let's him bounce over his head, and here comes Drew Aller. First down and 10 of the 25 is where the Nittany Lions start. Aller in the shotgun. Katron Allen in the backfield with him. And they'll give it to him straight ahead. Katron Allen crosses the 30 up to the 31-yard line, a gain of six. Let's take a look at these Nittany Lions as they open up the game with a positive run. Going quickly here, play fake. Aller, sideline throw, and knocked down, incomplete. Keep your eye on number three today, Dante Cephas. They need a big game from him. Here's Aller on third and four, steps up over the middle, incomplete. Good stop by Jordan Hancock. You mentioned him, Gus. He's in for the injured Denzel Burke, who's not playing today. Thompson will send it away. Back deep, Jaden Ballard. And Ballard with the fair catch. First down and 10 at the 28-yard line for Ohio State. McCord to throw it on first down. Near side throw and caught out of bounds. Guess who he found? Chip Trainum in the game, and they'll give it to him. Running over the left side with Broom. He'll get to the 45, maybe the 46. Caitlin King, first man to him. But it's all about Maserati Marv out there. And second down, here's Cade Stover. They're so worried about him on the Penn State sideline. Third down and three at the 48-yard line. Can Penn State get off the field? They're showing blitz. McCord, low snap, handle, far side caught. Maserati. And this is a matchup on the outside that they're going to have to try to figure out. What are they going to do in coverage against Marv? First down, Ohio State. And they'll stay on the ground with Trainum. Trainum went out of the game at Purdue last week. And they started last week. Right? On second down and seven, play fake. They'll dump it off near side. Here's Harrison. And he's got the first down as he steps out of bounds. With six catches for 105 yards and a touchdown against the Boilers last week. Off first down, cord over the middle, drops it off. Trainum with space, breaks the tackle. Still on the move and lowers his shoulder for the third straight game at running back. Eighth play of the drive coming. And here's a near side throw. Second down and 10. McCord looking in zone. And incomplete for Kyle McCord. Out of the gun. Train him next to him. Here's McCord with time. Underneath route incomplete. So Jaden Fielding comes in to attempt a 33 yarder. Clean snap, good hole, got it up, and good. And now this is their next step. Can they come and beat an Ohio State or beat a Michigan at home later in the season? Nick Singleton lets this one go over his head. Penn State came first, showed interest first, and he went with the Nittany Lions from his 25. First down over the middle, caught, and a first down. So what they're doing is working. Looking for more explosive plays, Aller. And he'll just throw this one out of bounds. Aller starts the game one for four. Second and ten at the 37. Now hand it off straight ahead. Third down and seven at the 40. Can the Nittany Lions move the chains? Aller steps up in the pocket to the sideline. Incomplete. Riley Thompson will send it away. Jaden Ballard, the deep man. Ballard hovering under it, has it at the 21. Steps forward and gets up to the 25. He had one sentence. He's just so smart. And he is doing great to start his NFL career. Chip train him. Tries to stop Maserati Mark. Second down and eight. Near side incomplete for McCord. Here's Kyle McCord. And he's sacked. So Jesse Mirko. Will come in to punt it away from the nine and the dangerous Daquan Hardy, who ran two back last week, is the deep man. He'll kick this one straight ahead. Hardy backpedals, has it at the 24, up the sideline, and he'll go out of bounds. Now for Penn State. First down and 10 at the 38. And they'll run it big lane. Nick Singleton. Nick 
The quick first down at the 42 now for the Nittany Lions. Singleton remains in the game at running back. Twins at the top of your screen. They'll give it to Singleton, another huge hole. Singleton, another first down, and he'll get across the 30. At the 26, Aller steps up in the pocket, in trouble, and goes down. Second down and 13 at the 29. Lambert Smith, the motion man. Aller, that one a little high. Third and 13. Aller, one for six to start this game. Aller hands it off. Near side, Singleton tried to turn the corner. Got it away and good. Nwusu will send it away. Line drive. And field it inside the 10 yard line. First down and 10 at the 22. He's a good between the tackles runner. Now they'll go outside with him on the option. And he's knocked out of play around the 25. Second down and six at the 26 yard line. McCord, the orchestrator. Here's Williams between the tackles, and that's a first down. Backfield of the def defense. And then again, McCord off the target. At the 36. Here's McCord. Going deep, McCord incomplete. Ohio State has the same kind of talent at the quarterback position. This time, McCord drops it off the tape. In the passing game, and he's got to be the catalyst. You're seeing they've got to throw the football, and when he's just a little off, the drives will stall out. Hardy lets it take a bounce. And that ball bounces backwards and will be downed inside the 25. They're up against it, though, after that loss to Oklahoma. And they can't lose again if they want to reach the heights that they have envisioned. Here's Aller. Nice throw. First down at the 36 for the Nittany Lions. And they'll hand it off. Singleton trying to follow his blocks. Second down and eight at the 38. Aller guns it underneath on the slant, and it's caught close to the first down marker. Penn State 0 for 3 on third down conversions. Aller. He's a big guy, 6'5", 242. Doesn't look like he's going to sneak it on third and one with Singleton in there. Aller will throw it underneath and incomplete. That one thrown behind. Riley Thompson will punt it away from his own 31. And it's going to be fair caught. Stover with 23 catches. And three touchdowns on the year. Here's the handoff to Mayan Williams straight away, and he'll. McCord looking over the middle. And Tate scoops that one up. And now Ohio State quickly to the line of scrimmage. They'll go to the ground game now as Mayan Williams bullying his way forward. Abdul Carter catches it, but it's a gain of seven. And that takes us to the end of the first quarter. Core trying to find a rhythm now. Second and three at the 38 yard line. Mayan Williams in the backfield. Here's Tate in the slot at the bottom of your screen. Keep your eye on the talented freshman. Here's McCord. Looks underneath, incomplete. Johnny Dixon, senior from Tampa, Florida. Near side, Williams out of the backfield, and he'll lose yardage on the play. Mirko wants to keep it away from him. End over end kick. And it's fair caught at the 13. Eight possessions in the game, six punts and two field goals. First down and 10. And it's Katron Allen trying to get outside. And because of that, they have done an excellent job doing that, limiting the explosive play. Second down and eight. They'll run it again straight ahead. Very conservative play calling by the Nittany Lions right now. Third down and six at the 17. Ohio straight. Looks like they're bringing pressure. Aller off his back foot, incomplete. Riley Thompson punting inside his own five. Ballard, the deep man. Thompson sends it away. Ballard picks it up, circles, hits the sideline with a blocker. 
And goes out of bounds short of the 40. First down and 10 at the 39. Here's the reverse. Xavier Johnson shaking bait. And he'll go out of bounds. On the ground again with Williams and a first down, Ohio State. Look at they're able to get up there, and that's why there's more room to run. First down to the 48, again more room to run. Another first down, and this offensive. They've run the ball really well. On first down, and it's Williams. No gain on the play. Four consecutive runs for Ohio State. Now they'll throw it. McCord to the sideline. Stover with the catch. Stover leaning forward. And he'll be about six inches short of that first down. That's a nice quick decision from McCord. They're trying to run a little two-man route over there, and McCord comes to his second read and immediately gets to Stover, who's then got room to run. Nine-yard gain, third down and one. Straight ahead handoff, and Williams spinning. Second effort. Now we're in crunch time here at about the 25. Ryan Williams, a compact player, 5'9", 226 pounds. On first down, running it again. Slithers through the hole, 39, and they've been running the football. Now a flag has been thrown. Yeah, substitution. Legal substitution. Home team, offense, five-yard penalty, second down. Oh, man. Second down and 11. At the 26, McCord steps into his throw. Tapped incomplete. Third down and 11 at the 26. Here's McCord under pressure. McCord lost it. Loose ball picked up. Curtis Jacobs down the sideline. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. 59 yards. But a flag on the play all the way back. Holding defense, number four. It'll be a 10 yard penalty, automatic first down. At the Penn State 16. Williams running right, trying to bounce it. No. McCord, another handoff. Williams bounced it and knocked backwards, and he'll be lucky. Third and 10 at the 16. Here's McCord underneath. Squeezed it in, and it's a reception for Marvin Harrison Jr. In front of Kalen King, but a flag. Can't see how this isn't going to be a defensive pass interference, and he fought through and caught that ball. Comes in, and Brown, who they set up last year, last week rather, with a package inside the 20-yard line, flag on this play. Not going to get an, an unsportsmanlike here. First down and goal at the two. Williams, the pistol back. And he'll give it to him. Williams trying to get in and dives at the end. Touchdown, Buckeyes. And it's good. Here in the second quarter. Drew Aller ready to come back on the field. Nick Singleton, the deep man. And Singleton lets it go into the end zone. Aller handing it off. Singleton picking his way forward. Aller drops it off in the flats, and that's his tight end. Tyler Warren, and Tyler Warren will pick up the first down. Allen, play fake, rolls out, crosses body, puts it on the money. Theo Johnson gets his shoulder square. Singleton, reverse, they throw it back. Aller. And he'll throw this one out of bounds. Aller steps up in the pocket with a lane, cuts it back, and Aller. Aller with the handoff to Singleton, and he'll go backwards. And it's good. No doubt about it. Chop Robinson, hopefully, he's okay and will be able to come back. 
and play in this game. Xavier Johnson lets it go over his head and into the end zone. First down to the 25 for the Buckeyes. Play fake. McCord sets up. Sideline caught. Harrison in space. And Maserati Marv gets to the 40. Williams, the pistol back. Now they'll give it to him straight ahead. And Williams tackled by Kobe King. Second and eight at the 38. McCord steps into his throw down the field and complete. McCord over the middle and complete. Daquan Hardy, the deep man. This one bounces backwards at some English. First down and 10 at the six. Here's a handoff, Katron Allen, a lot of running room. Allen will pick up at least six and a half. Here's a handoff, Katron Allen looking for that first down. Surges forward and he will get it. First down at the 16 for the Nittany Lions. And you're just waiting for them to give Drew Aller the opportunity to air it out. Here's Aller. Fires caught over the middle. Aller steps up, goes deep, sideline incomplete. Not even close. Second down and 10 at the 31. Ohio State showing blitz. Aller, sideline, thrown behind at the 31. Under a minute to play in the first half. Aller steps up, buys time, looking. Aller throws. Incomplete. Jade Ballard ready to return. Riley Thompson. Sends it away. Ballard over to the sideline. And that ball goes out of bounds inside the 15. Oh, man. And with three timeouts getting the ball to start the second half, they're going to take a knee. Yes, they will. Holy cow. This one is a little surprising there. That, that's enough time with those timeouts. The clock stopping when you get a first down with Marvin Harrison out there. You get the ball. That's a time to steal a score. I'm, I'm pretty surprised that Ryan Day is going to jog into the locker room in that situation. A defensive game in the first half. So here we go. Second half underway from Columbus. And this into the end zone for a touchback. Let's go downstairs to Jenny. Ohio State starts first and 10. And they'll hand it off on first down. Great defense by Penn State. Maya Williams, second down and 15 at the 20. McCord to the sideline. And it's caught by Xavier Johnson. Third down and nine. Here's McCord winding up underneath. Incomplete that ball. Hunting at his own 12. Mirko kind of shanks this one, but bounces forward and out of bounds around the 35. First down and 10 at the 31 for Penn State. Theo Johnson, Nick Singleton in the backfield with Aller. Here comes a blitz. Aller, quick release underneath, caught first down. First down to the 42. Singleton. Really good running back. Second and seven at the 45. Aller. Jump pass, and it's caught by Lambert Smith again. Aller with the handoff. Singleton stood up and goes backwards. Josh Proctor. So we're getting off the field right now, and Proctor makes the stop. Riley Thompson sends it away. Jaden Ballard. And he has it at the six. You're going to get all the creativity of the run game you can possibly get. We'll start at his own six. Here's the running game with Mayan Williams. Second and six at the 11. 
Williams again. And Williams. Third down and four. McCord looking for the first down, and he has it. Arvin Harrison Jr. leads forward in front of Caleb King, and he gains eight. You know what you're what, what I'm seeing here so far, Gus, is that Penn State has now said, okay, we're not going to double cover Marvin Harrison. We're going to commit to stopping the run, and because of that, they've got to complete some of those easy ones. Ball start. Offense, number 55. Five-yard penalty remains first down. McCord with the handoff to Williams. Plowing his way over the right side in front of Dennis Sutton. Good today, and here they'll go a little quicker right here. Two yard gain. Second and 13, McCord. Sideline throw, nicely done, Julian Fleming, but there is a flag. Holding, offense, number 71. Half the distance available from the previous line of scrimmage. At the nine, McCord with time. McCord now sacked inside the five. That pocket broke down Adisa Isaac. McCord will take the snap out of his own end zone. And he'll hand it off. Nothing. And they'll lose yardage again. Mayan Williams dropped by Kobe King and the fans here. Urko does not have time to move around. Gets it away. Hardy. Let's it bounce over his head. And then it takes an Ohio State bounce. Terrific job by Jesse Merco. And that ball down at the Penn State 25. Third quarter, low scoring. It's been a defensive battle. After the 72 yard punt by Mirko, Penn State starts first and 10 at their own 24. Here's a handoff. Allen dropped in the backfield. Cody Simon. Second down and 13 at the 21. Fans back into it now. Allen steps up in the pocket. Wants to run it. Does. Allen winds up. Lost it, sideline throw incomplete for Ohio State going with the win. So I think that's playing a little bit of part of this. A lot of holding by the Ohio State defenders. Ball fielded at the 36. Ballard, and it'll go down. The All American girl, Jenny Taft, with you. Ohio Stadium here in Columbus, 10 6. Battle between two top 10 teams, two undefeated teams, Ohio State and Penn State. McCord with the handoff on first down. Confidence maybe in the offense, but also a supreme belief in their defense. McCord over the middle, caught up high. Maserati. Here's McCord again. Sideline. Underneath Fleming. Second down and one. McCord again to throw it. Over the middle. Caught by Stover at the 10. Second down and one. Here's a handoff straight ahead. Not a lot of room, including a couple of passes. And he runs it, spins. Williams, and Williams met in the backfield and dropped for a loss. Fourth down and goal. Quick snap, they swing it out wide. Tate, and he won't get there. Look at this Penn State defense. So a first down at the two yard line for Penn State. Aller with the handoff. Nittany Lions looking for some room. And this is Singleton. Second and seven at the five. Aller looking, dancing over the middle, caught close to a first down. Aller with company, third and one. Play fake, Singleton looking for the first, he dropped it. Picked up by the Nittany Lions. And it's an incomplete pass. So Riley Thompson punting out of his own end zone. Ballard ready to return. Let's it take a bounce. And it bounces laterally. 
I think it touched Ohio State. And they say it touched Ohio State's Julian Fleming. 44 seconds remaining in the third. Lambert Smith in motion. They throw it his way. He looks to throw it. Not enough time, and he's knocked out of bounds for a loss. And Ohio State jumping offside. Wow. Tommy Eichenberg trying to anticipate the snap. Offside. Defense number 35. Five yard penalty remains second down. It's a, it's a critical mental error when they're backed up behind the chains. Not tough to see. I'd say Eichenberg is across the neutral zone there. Easy. Yeah, no doubt about it. Easy call, but second and long, Gus. You know, you feel like, okay, we got a good chance to get off the field here, but now, now Penn State can go back to the run game if they want, and more importantly, they can get back to those tight ends. They've been too quiet today. Theo Johnson, Tyler Warren, got to get the ball to those two tight ends. Second and seven at the 49. And they will not get it off in time. the 49 yard line of Ohio State. Lambert Smith in motion. Aller, play fake, in trouble. Tui Moloa is there and a sack. JT Tui Moloa. That's a loss of nine. 0 for 10, folks, on third down conversions today. Aller over the middle. Johnson with the catch, but it'll be well short. They don't have guys that are winning down the field, and therefore Aller's got nowhere to win in that spot. Penn State, 10 possessions, eight punts. Ballard, and he has it at the 10. Well, first down, Ohio State at their own 11. Here's a head of low. A defensive gym by both teams. McCord out of his end zone. Underneath on the crossing route. Marvin Harrison Jr. And he'll go out of bounds after gaining 27. Watch this angle of Harrison. He's just going to get a little shallow cross all the way across the formation. You see that little shimmy at the beginning. He gets the space, and now they lose track of him. Can't lose track of number 18, and he takes it up the sideline. That's the difference in the game right now, is that Ohio State has a player that can win on the outside and has in crucial moments, whereas Penn State, they don't have that player at wide receiver. Eight catches, 126 yards for Harrison over the middle. Stover again. Big fella, Kate Stover. He gains 29 yards. You had a feeling when we brought up Cade Stover yesterday, you just knew because the coaching staff lit up and they said, oh, yeah, he's going to have to play big, and he has so far. Big catch on the last series, and here, big one down the sideline. First down at the 36 for Ohio State. McCord with the handoff. Train him. Gets outside. Leans forward. Chip Train him. Solid run of five. Let's go downstairs and check in with Jen. Well, I want to make sure you guys knew Devin Brown, I've been told, a ankle sprain, a right ankle sprain. So that's the latest there, guys. Now, we just saw that big play from Kate Stover. Gus, I know you like nicknames. They call him Farmer Gronk. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Second and five at the 31. Although I, I did love that feature. Ginny went out and, and had a day on the farm with Cade before the season. Ginny was a terrific feature. Got a peek into his background and what really makes him tick. Here's Trainum. First down, Buckeyes. Abdul Carter with the tackle. Now Ohio State's offense finding a great rhythm on this series. Yeah, it's, it's almost like throwing it to number 18 is what you want. And you look at Ohio State, they've outscored Penn State 80 to 45 in the fourth quarter since 2017 in that, that win here at Ohio Stadium. First down and 10 at the 26th. And for this offensive line, my opinion, Joel, the more they run the ball, the better 
the offensive line for Ohio State looks. Train up remaining in the game. At a running back. Train him. Bottled up and taken down as he crosses the line of scrimmage. Dennis Sutton with the tackle after the one yard pickup. And Marvin Harrison Jr. Nice hesitation. Gets up field. Kevin Winston brings him down. McCord looking to throw it. McCord over the middle and incomplete. Got it away. And good. Lions, can they get their offense going? Singleton back deep. He'll get a shot this time from the seven. And Singleton with a lane. Singleton still on the move. First to 10 of the 37. One possession game. Aller with the handoff. Allen can't get outside, finally turns it up. And runs into a sea of red jerseys. Sonny Styles leading the way. Gain of three. And now you're looking at about eight and a half minutes. And the way that this game is going, I don't think you can expect three possessions. You might get three possessions depending on what happens. But this is getting down to it where you're not going to see the field much more often. So this is kitchen sink time for Penn State. Whatever is deep down in there in the bag of tricks, formationally, play call wise, it's got to come out now. Second and seven at the 40. And another handoff to Allen. And Allen will wrestle his way forward. Dropped by Cody Simon. Four yard gain. Brings up third down. Conversely for Ohio State, if you're Jim Knowles, what you don't want to do is give them a cheap score. So even in these third down situations, while he'd like to stay aggressive, he's got to keep at least one safety back. Right now, that seems to be number 41, Josh Proctor or Lathan Ransom. These guys have got to stay deeper than the deepest and allow no explosive plays. Penn State 0 for 11 on third down conversions. Third and three. Aller. Looking, Aller in trouble, fires, incomplete. Nobody open. Josh Proctor in the vicinity, and it looks like the Nittany Lions. No, they're keeping their offense on the field. Punt team has not come out as of yet. They're trying to get Lambert Smith here on a little snag route, but he's just covered too well by Igbenosin. And like I was telling you, Gus, they just don't have enough possessions left now with seven and a half. They're going to go for it here. Fourth down. And three yards to go. From their own 43. Katron Allen in the backfield. Here come the Buckeyes. Looks like they want to bring pressure. Aller looking. Throws and deflected. Incomplete. Guess who? J.T. Tuimoloa. Mayan Williams, the pistol back. They give it to him. He wants to stay in bounds if he can, but he doesn't. Flag on the play. I think they grabbed his face mask. As he was heading out of bounds, and you're right, partner, he's got to stay in bounds, but I think that they grabbed that face mask right before he hit that out of bounds. Personal foul, face mask, defense in the 23. 15 yard penalty, automatic, first down. That was Curtis Jacobs. Here he is coming up, and right there, that left hand grabs the face mask. Really good defensive play until he arrived and grabbed up top. And now the coaching staff gets to grab Mayan Williams and say, do not run out of bounds. Seven eleven to go in the fourth. First down and 10 at the Penn State 28 for Ryan Day. And his Buckeyes. They're jumping up and down in the stands now. You know, and as long as the game clock is moving, if you're Kyle McCord, someone's got to tell him, do not snap the ball unless there's under 10 on the play clock. Use it all. 
Here's a handoff. They run the reverse with Xavier Johnson. He's bottled up and dropped for a loss. Johnny Dixon grabs his ankle. McCord fires underneath. Marvin Harrison Jr. with the catch. And Maserati Marr will pick up 11. Winston with the tackle. Second most in school history. 12 100-yard games. Here's the run. Williams surges forward after contact and picks up a first down. And the clock keeps running. That was a huge first down there, and that's why they went to the tempo. They had to catch Penn State not ready for that snap, so they rushed to the line of scrimmage, didn't take all the clock that they could in order to get the new set of downs, and now they'll slow down, and James Franklin will be forced to start thinking about those timeouts that he has. First and 10 for the Buckeyes at the Penn State 17 yard line. First down from the 17. Williams again caught at the line of scrimmage, breaks the tackle, won't get back to the line of scrimmage, but stays in bounds. He'll lose two yards. When you really boil it down, these teams are very evenly matched. Great defenses, young quarterbacks, except for that guy. Penn State doesn't have a Marvin Harrison Jr. He has affected the game. Every time they've needed a completion, he's gotten it. When they need a jump start, he can do it. Even the holding that brought back the scoop and score, why? Because they had to hold Marvin Harrison Jr., who was in a one-on-one -on -one situation. He Se has been the difference. Second and 12 of the 18. Play fake, McCord. Off his back foot, Fleming. The intended receiver, incomplete. He's been incredible. He was incredible in this game a year ago. Now 10 catches, 144. And they missed on some in the first half, remember? I mean, like, they, they had the opportunity for three or four more. Third down and 11 at the 19. McCord over the middle. Harrison Jr. again down the sideline. Maserati Mar. Touchdown. Buckeyes. Speed. Agility. Power, balance. With 4.07 to go in the fourth, taking a 20 to six lead. <laughs> 20 to six, Buckeyes. And Penn State will start from the goal line. Trey Potts. And Potts gets to the 30. First down and 10 of the 30-yard line for Penn State. Now with the major deficit on a day in which the offense has not really been able to move the football. 189 total yards. Wallace. Incomplete. This passing game is, is just totally out of sorts. The timing of the wide receivers and Drew Aller, they're not on the same page. With three timeouts, I mean, they've got time here. They've got to think about scoring with a, like, okay, let's score with about two minutes to go. If we would try to get back in this ball game, avoid having to kick an onside kick. They could save those timeouts. Second down and 10, Aller. It's a miscommunication, Lambert Smith. The target brings up third and long. And it's got to be noted that not only is he facing one of the best defenses in the country so far, a great pass rusher in JT Tuimoloao, this is by far the most adverse environment that he's ever faced in his life. And you're starting to see some of those rushed throws, high throws, and off the mark. First-year starter, Drew Allen, third and ten. Aller, he'll run it. And Aller, flag on the play, stopped by Steel Chambers. Face mask, defense, number 22. 15 yard penalty, automatic, first down. Aller. 
Man. The timing is all off, isn't it? Everything. Just it has not been. It just there. doesn't look like Joel, not to be too critical, that this offense fits for this particular quarterback. Well, they haven't asked him to do this. There hasn't been a lot of just like drop back. They've been a game control, ball control, time of possession style offense leaning on the run game, and that's certainly not what they need right now. They just want to see him grip it and rip it. Allen buying time. Let's it go. Knocked away, incomplete. They're going to get a rough in the passer. Personal foul. Rough in the passer. Defense, number 91, 15 yard penalty from the previous line of scrimmage, automatic, first down. 20 to 6, first down at the 37. Aller again to throw it. Aller again in trouble. Aller looking, he'll just throw it out of bounds. Incomplete. And they'll confer about whether a wide receiver was in the area because Aller was inside the pocket. Now, Theo Johnson was the closest eligible receiver. He was about 10 yards away, and they're going to throw the flag. Ten to the grounding. Low snap handled by Aller underneath, incomplete. And they just don't have guys that are able to win on the outside. Aller again. Throws on the move. Clifford the target, and I think in the second half of the season after last week, fourth and 30, and a sack. Ohio State bringing more pressure at the Penn State 33 on first down. Mayan Williams. You know, in fact, you know, they're a much more complimentary team than I think a lot of people give them credit for. It's an offensive-oriented head coach, and they've had a lot of offensive stars. They've got Marvin Harrison. Williams. So here comes Jaden Fielding to attempt a 45-yarder. And this one. No good by the youngster from Cincinnati. Denzel Burke not available today for Ohio State. Allen throws this one out of bounds in the Big Ten. Second and ten. Lambert Smith. But moving forward for James Franklin, Joel, in terms of recruiting, he's got to go out and find him some receivers, some big time star receivers. Third down and short. Over the middle. Lambert Smith with the catch again. And he is taken down by Jordan Hancock. Short of the first down mark. Boy, this defense, I tell you what, they tackle in space so well. You see, feel like you see a, a, a free offensive player. The closing speed, the ability to tackle. They've been excellent. Under two minutes to go. Fourth down and one. Aller. Guns it, caught, and a first down. This time, it's Dante Cephas. Cephas was one of those guys that they thought they went out and got. He was a Kent State transfer, and he's been a guy that at Kent State had 145 catches, over 2,000 yards, 12 touchdowns. He was a first-team All-Mac player, and it, and it just hasn't quite materialized for Penn State. Over the middle, and this time, Cephas finds some great yardage, 19. Josh Proctor with the tackle. Now, now that looks good right there. And, and now get it going here as quickly as you can score. They're forced into no timeouts. They would have to kick an onside kick. But you got to get this to the end zone as quickly as you possibly can. First down at the Ohio State, 36. Allen fires. And incomplete. Closest man to the football is tight end Theo Johnson with 124 to go, second and 10. series tired pass rushers these defensive backs have been ready in coverage not many open receivers today has there I mean just Aller has been looking at guys covered all day long second down and 10 Aller moving around across his body caught at the 20 yard line great grab by Kate Saunders 
tell you, this has been their best offensive series of the day by far. First down of the 19. Aller again bounces out underneath. Katron Allen with the catch. A four yard gain. Tommy Eichenberg making the tackle as we close in on a minute. Yeah, got to be in hyper speed right now. Second down at six. Aller checks it down incomplete. Allen out of the backfield couldn't hold on. The clock stops with 50 seconds to go. Yeah, and more importantly for Ohio State, they can run some fresh pass rushers on the field. There was no rush because they were winded. Now Tui Molo out and Sawyer come back onto the field. So a fresh defensive end crew here for Ohio State in a must passing situation. Ball's got to start going to the end zone here. Third down at six. 0 for 15. Biggest stat of the day for Penn State on third down conversion. Here's Aller. Caught for first down by Clifford. Forty five seconds to go. Nittany Lions quickly to the line of scrimmage. First and goal at the eight. Low snap handle. Aller over the middle. And he'll skip this one to his target. Incomplete. I mean, there, there's a path here. If they can get this in the end zone as quickly as, as, as possible, you know, then you've got an onside kick, and then you've got your offense back on the field against a very tired defense. But the, the key here is that you don't want to have to recover an onside kick and then immediately just launch a Hail Mary. So, again, Paul's got to find the end zone as quickly as possible. Second down and goal of the eight yard line. Aller in trouble. Rolls out. Buys time. Fires. Caught. Caden Saunders. That's a touchdown for Penn State. Going for two. Throws it out wide. Lambert Smith in the end zone. Knocked away and incomplete by Steele Chambers. Here's the onside. Takes a big bounce and recovered by Ohio State. And they give up 12 points in a top 10 matchup. Kyle McCord takes the knee. Here's the summary for you folks. Marvin Harrison Jr. Maserati Mar with a career high 11 catches. He had 162 receiving yards and a touchdown. Ohio State now seven straight wins over Penn State. And the Nittany Lions failed on its first 15 third down conversions.